YouTube. We are back today with another episode here. So what we are doing today, we're going over the teardown of the rear axle and the front axle. Partially, mostly the rear though. We're going from 355s to 373 gears. We're going to re-gear the axle for better power. It's going to handle the 300 inline six much better once it's turbocharged and it's gonna handle 35 inch tires a lot better too than the 355s. started looking for something else I was gonna try to sell it before I repainted it and did everything to it and then I said you know how cool would it be to drive a 30 year old truck out west to a show sometime at some point here once my copper plated f100 is done I think that would be way cooler than driving just you know a truck that you'd bought brand new off the lot I just I can't see myself doing that I want to be able to say hey I drove this 30 year old truck out here with my 40 year old pickup on the back. I think that would be way cooler than just normally driving it out there. That's just me though. A lot of other people would be opposed to that and thinking you're crazy, but really I'm not. I can keep on knocking doors. Go place to place looking for. Dodge Ram right now actually 318 V8 automatic three-speed um, heavy-duty three-speed it's not the a 727 torque flight it's the a 999 very similar this has four clutches instead of three um, like I said and it's got a hitch on it so it's rated to or it's made to tow um, good good truck though I like it only 110,000 miles on it there's not too many of these around anymore and I got this for a pretty good price here right around where I live. Um, definitely my go-to favorite for driving in the summer. And you really cannot beat the horn either. It's sweet. There's not too many people would have an Uga horn out there. But no, this truck gets me around, I really like it. Only thing I've ever done to it majorly so far is change the gasket for the timing cover since it was leaking coolant really badly. So I had to do that, I did the timing chain and gears as well and I refreshed the whole system and advanced the camshaft four degrees after that was all said and done but again pretty cool truck especially the interior it's got all that old stuff in it you know what I mean cool old buttons analog gauges I like the message board the most actually but I like the old radio too but great truck for driving around definitely it's only two-wheel drive that's the only downside to this truck. It's literally cool because this thing's old and it's, you know, 30 years old. And it's got cruise control in it. Both my trucks actually have cruise. And I also like the fact that on the fender, you can open that up down there and you can 
flow fresh air through that vent. That's what makes this truck really cool. It just reminds me of the 70s, even though it's a lot newer than that. All metal latches, heavy doors that close and open. It's pretty sweet. Anyways, back to the red truck. As I was saying before, not too many people have this kind of a truck with the bumpers, the setup that I have. And I just think it's really gonna catch some, catch some eyes, turn some heads. And I think that, that truck will be the first beginning truck of a long road ahead doing other builds that may at some point will go out to SEMA on their own, you know. I would like to, that's, that's kind of my goal is to build trucks for SEMA and do some really specialty things. Especially on the old body style Fords. I'm really, that's probably my most favorite thing to work on is the old body style Fords. You know, there's nothing like them out there. They were cool trucks. I like the body styles. The quality was pretty decent on them. Even though they do rust like hell, a lot of them. Especially if they're not taken care of or uh, undercoat in this, in this area. This climate is very bad for snow and ice and rain and uh, salt. But, you know, I just like these body styles. The new headlights they came out with that you guys have probably seen already. I think that's phenomenal. It reminds me of the new F250s actually, but I'd rather have my old body style brick nose Ford. Just, just throwing that out there. Okay, so the Ford 8.8 .8 rear end is in front of me. I'm gonna show you, like I told you previously, the undercoat that I use on it because we have nasty winters here in Pennsylvania. Not, not so much nasty, but there's a lot of salt on the roads here because when it does snow, that's all they do is throw that salt. And it, it really is hard on vehicles here. So let me go ahead and show you this rear axle. Okay, believe it or not, this has been in the salt for six years in Pennsylvania. As you can see, man, this stuff is really nice that's on here. Look at that. It just, it's been on there for a year, and I really, really like it. It's really thick, sticky, doesn't wash off. That's the really nice part. You really have to pressure wash it to get it off of there, and that's what's going to have to happen. Even the body in this is extremely nice. I really like this truck. I'm glad I got it from the south for next to nothing. Cause there wasn't no rust on it and that was what's really nice about it the sway bar is still attached on here some of the hardware that wraps around the leaf springs is still on here as well that has to come off i think what i'm going to probably do is see what powder coating is going to cost tear this all down myself first and then i'm going to send it out to get rebuilt that's basically how this is going to go 10 bolt cover 355 gears in it now like i said 373s are going in it Going to get a trick flow 10 bolt cover for the rear end on here. I think this is going to be really cool when it's all said and done.